Hello and welcome to today's class on gravitational field. Okay, generally speaking, in physics, a field is used to describe a region under the influence of some force. It could be gravitational force, electrical force, or a magnetic force. All this exists in nature. As far back as 1666, Isaac Newton discovered a universal law that is now known as the law of gravitation. So what does that law say? The law states that the force of attraction between two given particles of masses M1 and M2 is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of their distance apart. In nature, every particle attracts a body to itself due to gravitational force. But that force is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the two bodies that attract themselves and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the bodies. So it's quite important that you understand in simplest terms what that law says. A mathematical expression, the gravitational force Fg is given as capital letter G multiplied by M1 multiplied by m2 all divided by r squared so we take that as equation one where m1 is the mass of the first body and m2 is the mass of the second body r is the distance between the two bodies while g is the gravitational constant and is usually expressed in newton meter squared per kilogram squared also, you must note that at the surface of the Earth, the force of attraction, F, is given as mg. Remember, force is normally given as ma, that is F equals ma, where a is the acceleration. But in this case, because we're talking about gravitational field, the F is going to be mg where g is the acceleration of free fall that is the acceleration due to gravity therefore g m1 m2 divided by r squared is going to be equal to mg so we replaced mg in place of f with every point near the earth we can associate a gravitational field vector g because this vector force is a vector, this fo gravitational force is a vector. It has direction. If F is the gravitational force acting at a point where a test charge of mass is placed, then the field, small let g, is given by F over M. So from the equations above, the magnitude of the gravitational field, small let g, at any point where a test charge M is placed at a distance from a mass is given as small letter G equals F over M. Remember, F is G M1 M2 over R squared. So we substitute that into this equation to give us small letter G equals G M1 M2 all divided by M r squared when a mass set up a field g which exerts a force on m we have that f equals g m1 m2 divided by r squared will now give us small letter g to be equal to capital letter g m over r squared 
which gives us our equation 3. So the m in this case now becomes the product of the two masses. Also take note of the gravitational field force. It says the gravitational field at a point due to an object of mass m placed at a distance r from a test mass depends on the magnitude of m and r squared. So on the surface of the earth, we can show that the gravitational potential denoted by V is always given as Gm over R, where M is the mass of the earth, assumed to be concentrated at the center of radius R. The units of F, that is the force, is giving us Newton, M is given in kilograms, R is given in meters, so if you're given in centimeters, make sure you convert to meters. While the gravitational constant is 6.67 times 10 raised to the power of minus 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared. So let's look at this example that would help us understand what we've been talking about all through this class. It says the Earth has a mass of m1 which is 5.98 times 10 raised to the power of 24 kilograms and the moon has a mass of m2 which is 7.36 times 10 raised to the power of 22 kilograms the mean distance between the earth and the moon is 3.28 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meters now the question is what is the gravitational force between them we've been given the parameters for m1 m2 r and we're also given G. So we have that F equals G M1 M2 all divided by R squared. If you substitute the values that we've been given into this formula, punch your calculators very well and do the math carefully, you should have F to be equal to 2.01 times 10 raised to the power of 20 Newton. Is that clear? Quite simple. So here's a summary of the formulas that we've used in this class. Remember that the force of attraction between two bodies is always proportional to the product of the masses of the bodies and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. You have to understand that first and that is the law of gravitation. So F equals GM1 M2 over R squared. Also note that the gravitational field strength, small x g, is F over M. Remember that F is equal to mg. So making G the subject formula, we have that G equals F over M. The magnitude of gravitation now field strength is given as small letter g to be equal to capital letter g m over r squared so this is the case where you're given one mass in an orbit to find the magnitude of the gravitational field strength so try this exercise and send in your answers we'll be waiting to get to hear from you I wish you the best of luck.